guys and welcome to another episode of Pokemon Go. Well today we're gonna be talking about everything that leaked, everything that happened and everything we can confirm from day 2 of the beta testing in Japan. Well from the first picture we can actually see that we'll have a day and night cycle implemented in the game. That's very fun so we can find different Pokemons in the day and at night. People are saying that at Pokestops we're getting more items during the night time than during the daytime. Now, that might be just an expectation, but that's what the actual players are saying. From the second picture, we can see that all 151 original Pokemon were included in the game. And also, from those pictures, they got the actual image from inside the game on how the Pokemons are going to look in the Pokedex. Another information we got from inside the game is that we'll have three classes of Pokemon, Normal, Legendary, and Mythic. Also, 232 moves were confirmed, 95 of which are quick moves. These include moves that are not in Pokemon Red, Blue, Yellow, or Green. So, there are probably going to be an expansion, an update, or something for the next generation of Pokemons. Also, a dodge function was found in the game. Now, the third picture, we can see a trainer customization. There were a total of 52 items found for trainer customization, including hats, hair color, skin color, eye color, backpacks, and everything else. From the fourth picture, we can see a Grimer, which is the pre-evolution of the Mug Pokemon. Also, seven natures have been discovered in the game. Stoic, Guardian, Assassin, Raider, Protector, Sentry, and Champion. Those could probably be assigned for Pokemons in the gyms, depending on what their function is. Also, guys, as the gym levels up, you're able to put more Pokemons into them. Here we can see pictures of how Pokemon stops and gyms look in the actual game. Also guys, gyms will have levels, so the more level the gym has, the more ring it has. So it's going to be harder and it will yield more experience and items for us. Also, badges are Pokemon Go versions of achievements and they include walking a certain distance, Pokemon caught, Pokedex entries, among other things. And there will be unique badges awarded from gyms. The trainer level cap at the time is 50 and the inventory limit for items is 1000. The Pokemon and Pokeheads limit are 500. Also there is a bar with the progress of every single egg so you know when you have an egg to hatch or not. In the next picture we can see the in-app purchases and they've spotted inside the game that you have balls, medicine, food and gem bundles. Also guys, gems will be the currency for this game, but they are able to find them at Pokestops. So you can get the in-app paid version of the game gems from just going around at the Pokestops. You don't need to spend money. This game should be free guys. There are four tires of items fighting, including Pokeballs, Potions, Max Revive, three battle items, and five types of berries. The rest, the Bluck, the Nanap, the Pinup, the Whipper. These are then separated into six categories, Pokeball, Food, Medicine, Boost, Utilities, and Camera. On the very next picture we can see a Rattata. It's a very simple Pokemon as we all know, but this is where it gets interesting. From collecting wild Pokemons, you will get Evolution Stone pieces. Those pieces will get together to make an Evolution Stone. So guys, it's very interesting to catch every Pokemon you find because you do plan on evolving them and you need to collect the pieces to get an evolution stone. Now in the next picture we can see a Rhyhorn, which is not a very common Pokemon, so it was nice to see him in the game. Also guys, we found inside the game all Pokemon types including Fairy, Dark and Steel. So probably we're gonna get next generation Pokemon soon and they're already planning on that by including their types. On the next picture we can see a Weedle, very simple Pokemon, just nothing about them. We got a confirmation there were no stars in the game and there were no wild battles. On the last picture we can see a Coffin and a Voltorb. Guys, trades will be limited to an area and will be transferred using your data and not Bluetooth as we all expected. So, you'll be limited probably to a gym area, that's what we expect, and it will be via data. So, no more Bluetooth trading that will enable us to trade a bit farther than the Bluetooth capability. Also guys, if you haven't joined Team Geo, if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. Team Geo, just message me on the Line app and I'll add you guys to our community. I hope you guys are enjoying this and train on.